Did you know that it is possible to beat Terraria without a keyboard? As it turns out, it is possible to beat the entirety of Terraria with just the left and right mouse buttons. This means no keyboard presses, no scroll wheel, no rebinding, and no macros. It's masochistic, but it's still possible. I've already explored the theory of this run in these two videos on my channel, but this video is different. That's because after making these videos, I decided to actually go and do the run on stream with two partners. My sanity be damned. Our final goal for these streams was to beat Skeletron, since after beating him, you unlock wiring, teleporters, and booster rails. Combined, these tools basically trivialize no-movement runs, and post-Skeletron no-click would essentially just be an uninteresting rail cheese simulator. We didn't want to spend too much time torturing ourselves, especially with my school and college applications looming, so we eventually settled on this shorter goal. We wouldn't get to Moonlord, but we'd be getting most of the early and pure no-keyboard experience. Well, I see an ad on the stream, so presumably it's up. We spawn in. Now what? Without the keyboard, we can't move left or right, meaning our world is effectively limited to what we can reach with our tools, which also have negative one range. In a standard no-movement run, the play would be to dig down and try to kill enemies for a hook, but since 1.3.0.1, it has been impossible to trigger the grappling hook without the grapple key. We can't even open our inventory to craft stuff since we don't have access to the inventory key, which is normally escape. So, what does a Terrarian do in this situation? Chairs. In 1.4, ReLogic added the ability to sit in chairs. While this feature may seem innocuous, it serves a vital purpose in this run. Sitting in a chair moves you to the chairs block, and can be activated with just a click. Change some chairs together, and bam, we get movement. If you're lucky, you'll spawn in reach of a good amount of trees, giving you the wood you need, and while you can't open your inventory to craft, you can craft via the guide if he's within range. So, given this, all we need to do in the beginning is to pull off this entire maneuver perfectly while being unable to move and while under attack by master mode enemies. Seems fun, right? And the guide is gone. On my Wait, Adventure, team. are you even in the world? I am in the world. Oh, you're But on... I hear the stream for some reason. Why oh, do I hear the stream? I don't know. Oh! This is great. I think we might have to create a new world, because the guide already ran 20 blocks to the left. We just have to get hit over to the guide by slimes. Stop hitting the slimes. You, you... Oh wait, you might, we might need to hit the slimes. This, is, this isn't working, Adventure. Wait, the guide's coming back. Yeah, the guide is- okay. It... Yeah, but there's also three master mode slimes on you. Oh wow, 140 people are here to watch us suffer, because clearly doing this on master mode was the best idea. I mean, to be fair, Skeletron would be too, like, doable otherwise. Like, I feel like at this point we should, we should try to restart and get a better spawn than this. We need wood to build a palisade to prevent ourselves from getting murked by slimes. It's not gonna oh, be- hold on, if we- Adventure, you do realize that this, this isn't going to work. Well, why wouldn't it work? Well, hopefully I wish you the best because oh. I'm just going to dig into the ground and try to do something because- Well, now you're digging all of us into the ground. Oh, you are. Amazing. Should we maybe try a second world? Uh, we technically have wood. I think we have a single block in range. If a single slime bounces us, we'll have wood. Oh my. We just need to get the blue slime to bounce us, and it's only one slime, so we should survive. We just have it bounce us until we're in a tree, then we kill it. And then we can build a wall so we stop losing our scent. Just two slimes! Yeah. Two slimes! Alright. Here's a problem, now we're too- Okay. Far. We are now too far away. Wait, don't kill it, we need to bounce- Wait, we- Oh, we... oh we're gonna die. Oh, Wait, hey! no, Photon's hey, Photon. alive! Photon, Photon, Photon carry! Photon, just- If you can get the chair before the purple slime gets here, a, A. Photon carry? Oh no. Now the guide is gonna walk in the opposite. No. No. Okay, A, we A. need to not get hit A, anymore. Just, just, get, just get, 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 yeah, there we go. Oh, 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 Photon carry. Photon, Fo Photon, Fo help. Photon, take the meat shield. Just kill it. Come on, come on. You just need wood. Yes. Come on. And the guide is slowly walking toward us now. Yes! Oh my god! Oh, Why? Why? Instead of the guide. Real. Okay. Adventure, like, at least can you craft the- Hey, hey, guide. I'm- I'm slowly moving over to the guide. I need to, like, break the area I'm on. 
I, I have one piece of wood. Can you guys build a wall to the right? I have successfully trapped the guide. You've also trapped yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, that too. Now that we finally had a way to move around, however slow, we felt that we were finally ready to move on to the next step in the tech tree. Rail. But why rail? Like chairs, minecart rail can be interacted with with only a click, hooking you onto the rail. While you can't dismount the minecart without the keyboard, you can sit back onto a chair when mounted, which automatically dismounts you. Rails are way, way cheaper than chairs, giving 50 items per craft versus just one. If we were going to build any highways economically, they were going to be chair rail highways, not pure chair highways. We were going to need long highways to make it to the dungeon, so getting rails was a priority. All we needed to do was find the iron for that, then start building our highways. Hey, they can kill me. Brilliant. Hey, Adventure, have you found- I found a hole! Yes, but have you found iron yet? Any health- Oh, there's lead. Lead. Yep. Lead. Okay, that's good. We can get minecart tracks. I can get six lead out of this. That's lead? Uh, oh, oh, wait, that's wait, lead. Wait, that's wait. lead. Don't, don't mind down- Oh, well, well, we got more lead. Rope. Lead. Lead. Alright. We also need the an, uh, anvil here. Don't dig down too fast. We, we want to make sure we got all the lead. There, but... There's not enough of it. But the, what did the- what, oh, what's- Oh, another don't do What's- uh, I guess this is how we- we die. Well, we needed to get back up to the surface anyway. Oh, there we go. Fixed it. Sure, this works too. Oh, bat incoming. Short swords out. Can you at least salvage <laughs> the chairs? You're not gonna be able to do anything here, there's too much <laughs> enemies. Uh, we disagree. Oh, right. This is so annoying. We need to get over somehow, Tara. Alright, this is low enough for you, Photon. We can cut down half of the tree instead of the entire thing, but at least we won't be dying. The blocks are so good for building protected tunnels. Photon, oh why did you give pickaxe. me your- Huh? Yeah, give me back my pickaxe. I can't! My inventory isn't open! <laughs> um, Photon, please move from that, that chair. I need a- I need, Oh wait, I can just take this chair. Um, sorry, Photon. And you moved the chair. Your your pickaxe filled up my only hotbar slot that was open. Now I'm screwed too. I'm gonna have to kill myself now. I'm sure you're very proud of yourself. Kill yourself, open the inventory, and get back. Here. No, the slime's aggroed onto you. It won't kill me. Ugh. Move up to those chairs so that it stops ag and slime stop aggroing me. Yeah, but see, look, the slime is actually gonna kill me now. Now that means I can respawn and get you your stupid pickaxe back. Or not. Will this help it? Will I think if I place a few blocks, it's gonna be able to... More easily. Yeah, there you go. Um... Ghost. Uh, I don't think that can hurt us. I think we're fine. So we need to kill the ghost and then we can keep on... No, no, stop! Aww. Well, uh, we just need to make sure to never die with our, without an item in our hand. There, we have a we have a chest. I'm going over to Photon to help him out now. Okay, this is actually taking shape now. Can you like leave the chairs behind unless you're like really dying of wood shortage, Photon? I only have three chairs in my entire inventory. We got, we got the tall tree. Are Oh, that's convenient. Wait, why are there so many stars in this one place? I think we underestimated how hard it would be to build a chair highway, considering in all our tests we assumed the chair highway was already there. Once once we find a desert, it's going to become really easy because we can make glass chairs. Okay, so looking at the mini-map, um, we did not go far at all. Yeah, I mean, I think if, if I wait 10 minutes, you might get here. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. I mean, the sun is still on the left side of my screen. I think it'll be a bit till we die from zombies. An hour later, what had we gotten done? Not much. We managed to move a few hundred tiles west, at best. Fun fact, when this stream started, we actually thought we were going to beat the Moon Lord in like, eight streams. 
we were even supposed to reach the dungeon by the end of the first stream. Let's just say that didn't happen, and eventually we were forced to change our goal to be more realistic. But this stream we did actually achieve something, a revelation, the first of five key revelations this playthrough. Right click the rail buff. Wait, hold up. Oh my god! Oh my- Oh my god. New movement tech! Stream viewer Twister found out that you can actually hook directly from rail to rail without needing a chair to dismount, since you can actually right-click the buff icon to dismount. Yeah, it's a simple trick, but this was huge. Rails can be placed much more freely and at longer ranges than chairs, meaning that moving across rough terrain, like hills and mines, suddenly became much easier. No more terraforming. Sure, cancelling the buff is annoying, but at least we can move without these damn stupid finicky chairs. Unfortunately though, we didn't really get to make use of our new movement tech much this stream, since despite that, most of it was just a bunch of unproductive dying. In fact, we died so many times that a graveyard formed at spawn, bringing its waifu ghosts and increased spawn rates with it. We even got Abigail's flower to spawn from our graveyards, being our first summon. Even with that though, after 2 hours and 30 minutes of torture, we were done. All of us were exhausted, and would you blame us for that? The day was done. We closed the stream and decided to pick it up two days later. A new day meant new energy, and a new burst of optimism. Early on in the stream, we even managed to figure out a new movement tech, the second key tech this playthrough. If you hook to a rail under a 3 box ceiling, you don't actually mount the minecart since the ceiling would be too low. Thus, you just don't. This means that as long as you stand under a ceiling, you can zip between minecart tracks like this. This basically obsoleted the chair rail highway we had spent the entire last stream trying to build. Made exclusively of rails, this was cheaper, easier to build, and faster. Damn. Needless to say, all future infrastructure would be based around this rail-only architecture, aside from elevators which still need chairs. It's funny how you make an entire theory and video around using chairs to beat the game and it gets obsoleted in one stream. Oh well. Anyway though, since the first stream's progress showed that we weren't reaching the dungeon anytime soon, we decided that this stream would be much better spent on resource collection. We needed gear badly, especially given that this was master mode, and with these two new rail-only movement techs, mining should actually be somewhat bearable. So, into the meat grinder we go. Yeah, I'm just paranoid and keep my inventory open constantly. Amazing. How are you enjoying this? I'm not. Venture, where are you to be? Where are you right now, Venture? Uh, drowning myself. Why? Oh, you got to the mushroom biome? Come on. Oh my god, the enemies. I've been sky bridging. I've trapped a- Shroomerang! You can open full screen map by clicking on the trifold map button right by the mini-map where your inventory is open. Huh? Let me try that. Did Churia designer was like intense oh! for this to be possible? What? Very, very, very nice tip, Rish Old Umbrella. Wow. Alright, it does work. Now here's the pro oh, okay I can the amount of stuff you would not expect to be possible here. This is actually good. Alright, people from chat are, are smart just like last chat. Much smarter than me. Alright, you know this means it can save me so much time when I can just do this. Oh come on, I was about to get a chest. No, it's, my, it's our chest now. Where's the chest? You figure that out. Why do you think I'm gonna help you? Okay, now that you've left, I can go get the chest, nerd. An act I got a cloud in a bottle. <laughs> Slowly navigating a natural minecart track by hooking and de-hooking over and over again. This is definitely what I came here to do. This is definitely the peak of entertainment, but no, vicious. Very easy. I think Skeletron will be done within the week. If it takes that long, I'll actually be disappointed. Within the week, you know adventure, it's Friday. Sure, no more privacy. Oh, come on. Hey look, it's a giant Shelly. Why am I one pixel off? Why? Now, I, I thought you said it was simple. Yeah, no, it's because this mine shaft is like one off. 
I have to go hug the right wall, otherwise I'm gonna die. We really now. need a new vine shaft. Yeah. I have to hug the right wall. I thought going through the center would be good enough. But no, you have to hug the right wall. Like this. And it- there's- Oh, you got rid of the water at the bottom, you nerd! What? We've been down that shaft for a while. Well- See? You died. Okay, look, I was not the one who got rid of that water. You're- Oh, I have four gold. We can get a single extendo grip. I love this. Yeah, but like, I don't want to go- There's shiver thorn here, should I grab that? Um, maybe? Dear, there are a lot of creatures here. Amazing. Alright. Um. See, I told you, Terra. Go for time. Even your shroom marine can save you. Yeah, I was using wood bow out of instinct. Right, Mr. Photon. Allow me to introduce the bomb. Oh, we got another extractinator. We also got two RTP pots. I have 150 salt. I assume this is going to be enough. A nice chest. An ice boomerang! Let's go! Alright, one more boomerang to nice. go. One more boomerang to go for trimerang. I have to press H to heal. Ice mirror! Unlike the first stream, this stream was actually very productive. In terms of advancement in the playthrough, we got a massive upgrade in gear, expanded and pacified the base, and explored as far as the snow biome. But arguably the more important advancements occurred outside of the game itself, off-stream. A whole three new techniques were discovered by stream viewers that would potentially revolutionize our movement. The first new key tech is the rail slingshot. Viewer X Doge discovered that if you mine the rail the split second before you attach to it with a rail hook, you get slingshotted forward like this. Uh, like right behind your character, you just hold down. Well, you have to get it to you have to get the rail to one hit first. So I hit it twice. Hold down, left click, right click, and then it sends me 46. You can preserve this speed by standing on frozen slime blocks, which eliminates all friction. This is the only way to automatically move before teleporters and rails post Skeletron. The second Nuki tech is the under rail. Remember the ceiling rail thing that I discovered at the beginning that lets you zip around? Well, this is the iteration of that. Viewer Krob discovered that you can hook to rails through blocks like this. However, since there's a block in the way, you never actually ride on the minecart. This eliminates the need for a ceiling, and elevated under rails would eventually go on to become the principal method of transport in this playthrough, being extremely convenient over flat, elevated surfaces. The third, and arguably weirdest new key technique, is the clipping hoik. Discovered by fellow mouse-only runner EJ, this is essentially a really fast way to hoik and clip through areas underground. I hope there's an easier way for me to actually set it up. Okay, there we go. And then, I'm just gonna hammer this spot, I'm gonna keep my mouse here. Okay. Oh. All you need to do is clip into a wall as such, and hammer away. You'll automatically build a reusable hoik that lets you go through blocks just like that. With these new techniques in hand and the two I gone previously, I felt more ready than ever to make progress this playthrough. So I uploaded an addendum to the original theory video showcasing these new techniques and got ready for a third stream the next day. This stream's slated goal was to kill King Slime. This might seem like a bit of a deviation from our original end goal of beating Skeletron, as King Slime doesn't really give you any combat accessories or armor, nor is it a prerequisite to kill Skeletron, but we had our reasons at the time. To us, killing King Slime killed two birds with one stone. First, Royal Gel was a useful accessory that would massively reduce the pain of dealing with slimes, which would save us many, many brain cells. 
and it would also give us the solidifier that we would need to craft frozen slime blocks for key tech number 3. It was a worthy goal, and it also served as a progression marker showing us just how far we've come. But yeah, right now it's our goal is to get a ruby, which sucks because yesterday, um, Adventure went through like 300 silt and got no ruby, which apparently is like a 35% chance, but it doesn't help us regardless because we need a ruby to kill King Slime, and we don't have a ruby. I, I just fell to the exact same cliff. I'm so good at this game. Well, we have some spawn design issues, to put it mildly. We need a better elevator, that's what I'm annoyed about. Yeah, then fix it. You see, I would, but I keep on dying on the way down. Well, I got 159. Oh, three defense snow hood. Interesting. Um, 159 silt. Alright, now I'm extractinating. Let's see what we can get out of this. Do you think I'll get a ruby out of this? Mm, how much do you have? 150, 100. Tara, the reason I'm not here is because I can't join the server. Okay, Tara, is it okay if I go restart the server right now? Yeah, also, uh, we did not get a ruby. Okay. That I'm just going to do the old, um, use the old infrastructure for now to get to the desert. Oh my god. What the hell is this? There's so much stuff. The least of it disappears again. Okay, back to the desert. I think this time I should be able to live slightly longer now that it's day. Blocks? My god. Can you get flinks for as much as you can for the summons? I will attempt to, though flinxes are quite rare. Yeah. From, from experience, it's not gonna be quick to get flinks for. I'm sure you found anything yet. No, I'm trying to get down the elevator. Two? Anywhere that hasn't already been explored. If you if you want, you can you can go to the ice biome. Ice biome has been explored very little. I'm sure there's still interesting stuff to find here. Well, you're doing that at the moment, so... Yeah, but this is a corruption world. We could go for that if we have the brain cells to go all the way back. What's that? What's that? Uh? What's that? What's that? Oh my god. Or did I see here. a flink? A ruby? I think that's a ruby. Oh. Yeah, I am not heading over to the snow biome right now. Why? It's nighttime. Oh, good point. And there we go! We got our first ruby. Finally. <laughs> Took so long. It's just it was just a ruby just hanging out on the top of a cave. Yeah, also adventure, do you do you think it'll be a good idea to get a gem corn, as they say? Do we want to wait for a gem corn? We don't have bone meal. That's not a thing. Oh, is that more ruby? I think that's more ruby. Oh, well that would solve our dilemma. That is in fact ruby. We got one more ruby. Nice. A whole one more ruby. Amazing. I think this is the end of the cave. I'm just gonna come back now. I don't want to spend so much time just placing rails. Demon altar. Do you, Venture, do you know where demon altar is? I've I've seen one no. before. No. I've seen one before, I've seen one before. How hopeful that you've seen one, but can't remember how- where it is. Well, mini-map. Uh, yeah, fair. Huh. Oh. Wait. Wait, where does your hoik start? Uh, it's on the other side of the desert on the left. I started hoiking horizontally, and I got into the corruption. Alright, hoik time. There we go, that's a hoik right there. That's a hoik and a half. How far did you go instantly? Like, maybe 200 blocks. Okay, nice. Well, anyway, Photon, good luck. I'm just- I'm just inside the hoik with him now. Wait, Photon, I have a faster hammer. Photon, let me do it. Wait. What? Come on, is- is- Oh shit. Uh, Photon, can you, like, resummon Abigail to deal with that? I'm getting a bricklayer just because it's an accessory that does something, and I don't think that's going to be very common. I guess Photon is being more cautious, and he doesn't have as strong of a weapon. Fuck! Be patient, and wait. Oh, I didn't craft the crown before I came here. <laughs> You're kidding. 
Let me bring an anvil here, I guess. It's gonna be the catalyst for faster gameplay that we expected. Why? So, it took us an hour and 20 minutes to get a slime crown, but hey, everything counts, right? Now to take it back home and- Well, there's methods you can use to find it. You're Fuck! The Wait, is that a natural spawn? No, I accidentally clicked a summon. Oh, come on! You're an idiot. We really <laughs> cannot afford to waste that. Luckily, we had a few ruby gem corns lying around, so it wasn't that bad. Probably gave Adventure some war flashbacks, though. Oh, a mechanical skull! I think yeah. at this point I'm gonna accidentally spawn uh, the skeleton spawn. Yeah. Oof! Why? Why? In the meantime, while we waited for our gem corn to grow, we began building a king slime cheese arena with lava based on this video I made like three years ago. The technique is crude as hell, but it had to do with our limitations here. Can you guys stop okay. Uh, it? Should I summon it now? Yeah. Um. Okay. King. Remember not to you... stay away. Oh. Okay. So we need to stay away from each other. So only one of us. Photon, go, go, to right. go, go to the right. Photon, go to the right. go to the right. Oh. There's he only seems two. to be aggroed on me, which is good. I, 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 I have, I have, I have a, I, I have a strong inkling that this is going to work. Now, stay apart, stay apart. I'm sure. Uh, please use a healing potion. Uh, I don't have a healing potion in my hotbar, so I basically don't have one. Oh, we're gonna kill it! We're gonna kill it! Cheese. Best yeah, cheese. <laughs> Alright, who owes Tara one dollar? Huh? Who owes- who's- who- what? One said they bet a dollar that cheese won't work. Well, cool. Th this did work. Surprisingly, that went pretty well. The cheese worked brilliantly and none of us died. We ended up getting some sweet ninja armor and royal gel out of it, which are nice defensively, as well as our much beloved solidifier. While we would never build any frozen slime block highways given their exorbitant gel cost, kind of making key number 3 useless, killing king slime was probably still worth it in the long run for the brain cell saving royal gel alone. I would say this stream was a success. Now, that would be difficult to say about stream 4. If there was a slump in the playthrough, this would be it. Stream 4 was kinda scattershot, with no real goal in mind. This was also recorded on the Thursday after school, meaning I was much more tired and irritable than the usual streams. We started off mining, like usual, but then we started trying to kill the Eye Cthulhu, since he was starting to spawn now every few nights. Yeah, it's okay, adventure. Alright, good luck, friend. Go deal with that. Good luck. We desperately need defense so we can face tank this thing. Oh, don't have defense today. At least we have- Yeah, no, this fight isn't just scuffed, it's gonna be dead. There you go. Look. A Adventure, what the hell are you doing? Shoot us! I have 6 HP. Oh, wait. Uh, Fallen Star hit it for 1,000 damage! Oh. Yeah, but the Fallen Star is covering you for a bit. I'll be back in like 10 seconds. Photon should be I back. I don't think we can... I do not believe we can rely on more Fallen <laughs> Stars. Uh, uh why did you both have to die? Master mode, I Cthulhu boys! Alright, good luck, adventure. The I will spawn in like a, like a minute 30. Or now. That also works. I'm just gonna commit suicide, I'm not gonna live through this. There you go. After that predictably failed, we then switched to extending the underrail to the east. The chairs. I don't have any chairs, cause chairs- You're kidding. Why, who makes chairs? Chairs have been outdated for millennia, why would No they them? haven't! They're the most reliable method for m go making a reusable elevator. No, just use- no, why would you- okay, let me show you a better elevator. It's- it's- uh... it's not hard adventure. Life is not that difficult. Then you do it. You go do it then. No, I'm just watching Tara do whatever this is. No, like, Get it's out, slower I... to build, it's slower to <laughs> use. What is the point? No, no, no. Get off the elevator. I need to place platforms. How is this a useful elevator? It is, uh, no. It's a functional elevator, and that's what's important. 
You just... spent like five minutes on this one elevator. No, building it is And you the... haven't even gone like 20 blocks yet. Nope. And you just took fall damage while building an <laughs> elevator. Are you sure that's high enough? Yes. There's not a single block increase past the sand dune. There is. Not a block increase. Why? Also, see, look at how fast this is. It's not fast, you have to click more. Terra! <laughs> Terra! <laughs> this is fine, don't worry, just dig through it. You are digging through this alone. When we reached the snow, I then got distracted trying to summon a natural deer cloth, since his loot would be a massive help at this stage in the game. Probably should get past this sand dune before he gets here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I'm slowly coming over. But then I got trapped by my own chair elevator since it offered me no way down. Instant karma, I guess? Well, that didn't matter because... Goblins! Boys, clearly doing the most annoying event while paralyzed can only go well. This is not fun. This isn't working, Adventure. Now you've trapped me- trapped all of us in your damp in your stupid spawn. Well, we can still deal damage. I got a harpoon, so that's something, I guess. Okay, there you go. These grenades are the most useful. Like, 30- 30 percent already done with the goblin invasion. Yep. Okay. No, we do not want a free graveyard adventure. What happened to your lava? I can't place it. Why? There's nowhere useful to place it. I ha was making an area, but then the goblins showed up. There's so many. So many what? Goblins. <laughs> Photon, just rain down grenades towards the spawn. That helps a lot. That's me. Oh, Mickey Ball. Yay, Goblin Army's dead. Alright, only a, a little bit of dying left. Congratulations, now go fix spawn. How about you also help with that? I mean, it was a quarter hour of torture, but I'll take it. It means we actually did make progress to stream, as killing the goblins means the goblin tinker can move it. It was something we had to do anyway, so I guess it's nice that we were able to get out of the way. Now, all we needed to do to make progress was to find the bound goblin. Ha. This is the, this is the best seed. Oh, what's that? Is that an enchanted sword shrine? That is an enchanted sword shrine. Yo, wooden boomerang! Yes. The can game. you make shroomerang now? No, I can make an enchanted boomerang and try meringue. Or is everyone looking for the goblin? You might have seen him die. Oh come on! Easier to get goblin while in regular cavern. Okay, sure. I'm in regular cavern right now. I can try looking for him. Maybe I, c I can find him after all these years of searching. Streaming for another two hours isn't gonna happen. I have work to do eventually. Well, we're gonna be done in like five minutes, just doing a little bit of final goblin looking. No. There's some tungsten down there. I won't get the tungsten, though. No goblin's not down there. Alright. As for now, it's, it's the end. I went down- I'm going down a new cave now. I think I can probably help go and have a good chance finding King Cure. King Cure Cure. Okay, looks like Photon saw another 250 HP NPC die to enemies. So he's just a true winner here seeing all the King Cures die. Amazing. <laughs> I found Tinker, and he's not dying to mobs! Thank you. Okay. It's a historic moment. Congrats- congratulations. Now you I got Tinker. <laughs> you must return home now, or you are bad. Uh, yes. 
Uh, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish exploring the cave because it might have life crystals. It took until 40 minutes into the next stream until one of us found a living goblin tinker. That's how long it took. I mean, we weren't making the best use of our time, but still, an hour and 40 minutes of searching with three people is probably not that great. Regardless, though, the Goblin Tinker meant we now had access to Reforges, and the best Reforge, Warding. Defense is absolutely crucial to this playthrough, as it is the best way to compensate for our pitiful movement. On Master Mode, the Eye of Cthulhu only deals 45 damage. With full gold armor, 6 warding accessories, and iron skin, you can get up to 48 defense, even without defense increasing accessories like the Shackle. If we can get somewhat close to that amount of defense, we can dramatically improve our survivability, as dodging isn't really an option for us. Between three respawning players, it should be enough to face tank the eye. Instead of just flailing around as we had previously, with this, we could have an actual chance at beating the eye. I'm concerned about the ice boomerang and more concerned about like the default wooden boomerang. I think that's the bigger issue. Warding, brown string, and yeah, it does stack. Uh-huh. I think Photon would have like brain failure if you had to do this every day. Oh, hey, convenient. Oh, okay. Maybe we can kill it. Probably not, because I forgot to reforge my stuff. And then reforge your stuff. Stone. Well, I'm getting obsidian right now. I'm collecting the lava, and I'm gonna try and get six more obsidian to make it, then I'll maybe be able to help. Photon if you haven't died yet. No, no. It's, we're doing... Photon is doing better than me. Okay. Probably because it's aggroed on me. Each hit deals about 17 damage without iron skin. Okay, I got the obsidian. I should be able to go back now. We're not going to have enough DPS to kill it without you. Okay, I need to make my skull first. You're being super helpful, you know. I know. No, I have... T I have... Yeah, okay. I don't have that much defense either. There we go. That's a good keeper spot. Okay. I think... I think we can make this work, maybe. I think we'll be actually be fine. Uh, if we don't die, this DPS is enough. Adventure, you're like 15 times tankier than all of us, so... Uh, no, I'm taking twice as much damage as you are because I didn't reforge my stuff. Yeah, but you also have twice our HP, so it's all balanced. Alright, just shooting in a random direction and hoping shit lands now. Well, yes! Alright, cool. I Cthulhu is <laughs> over! With the eye conquered, this meant our sights were now set on the Eater of Worlds. Specifically, the Nightmare Pickaxe and Worm Scarf allowed us to obtain. While none of the previous two bosses we killed were really that necessary to the run, getting Mole Armor and the Worm Scarf were absolutely necessary. Our strategy to kill Skeletron would be much the same as the eye, tanking. With Skeletron's increased damage, Mole Armor and the Worm Scarf would be absolutely necessary to do that. As for the ear fight itself, while its segments deal less damage than the eye, its head deals like way more, so we would still need to bulk up for this fight. We then cashed out to the Tinker and a bit of grinding later, eventually all of us, especially Adventure, reached as close as possible to maximum defense. Rash, it gives me rash twice in a row, fleeting, intrepid, hasty, lucky, quick. Come on. Menacing? Ah. Uh. Three menacing, four ward. No, three menacing, three warding. I know it's it's like bad, but you know whatever. I have to cope. I think this will be a well used iron skin. Oh, fallen star helped us out. Okay, I'm getting all my buffs here, here, here. That is 54 defense. That should hopefully be enough. Let's go. Going on my part for anti KB. It doesn't matter, just kill as many parts of it as possible. Uh, Photon will be I need back to drink a healing pot. Photon will be back to deal as much damage as possible in like 30 seconds. Yeah, we focused on um, specific segments too much. Uh, we didn't we shouldn't have killed any because now we have multiple heads. I don't have a good piercing weapon, I'm just using enchanted sword. And there you go, Photon's back. Look at that. Well, when, when we well, I'm gonna die. I am going to die. No, we'll be back in five seconds. Just don't die. Just don't get hit. As that's in the words very of easy to do when I'm on a rail and cannot move. Adventure. Just, that's the words of your own. Of, of your of your own. 
You that can't. implies you, you can't you, you, you can't just retract the words you've been giving out for I several years. I have zero agency here. No, all the words that you say are completely yours. Oh my god. All right. Yeah, I got it. Uh -huh. Are we gonna try killing it again? Uh, yeah. That worked really well. Let's just use it before the potion buffs go away. No, I'm not. There's Pokemon, too many heads. Pokemon is gonna be back. Oh god damn it! The eater stole my gold. I forgot to put it in my piggy bank. Rip twenty three gold. Oh, I. Oh, you opened your treasure bag? Yeah. That was a close fight, really. We got really lucky the first time. The second time we fought him, we actually failed pretty spectacularly. No matter though, we got our beloved Wormscar for tanking, along with a butt-ton of Demonite and Shadow Scales for those pickaxes. After the rapid progress of two bosses in Stream 5, Stream 6 was gonna be a bit slower and much harder. The only objective this stream had was to acquire Hellstone, which meant not only reaching Hell, but also extracting it safely. Given the state of our mineshaft and the danger of Hell itself, it was obvious that this was not going to be a painless task. Oh, it's Tim. Okay. I just- the thing is, Tim is super annoying because I can't- he's never going to spawn on top of me. And he's just gonna slowly kill me. This is super annoying. It came so far and getting, getting nerfed by Tim. And Tim is an asshole. Some, his first projectile always manages to hit me for some reason. Okay, I got Abigail to get to an open corner. I'm using an enchanted sword. But I have oh, healing that's... potions. Okay. Um, so I think Tim should be able to get killed next time he teleports over here. Oh my god. Come on, Tim. J Piece of shit. What happened? Um, but I found a mushroom biome down here, so... Oh my god, you've already been here. You are everywhere. Oh yeah, yeah, I've been there. Why the hell are you everywhere? Well, because I was trying to get to hell. To the left. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm watching you on the map. You, can, you should probably make, worry on what you're doing instead of giving, trying to give me step-by-step -step directions. Uh, probably, but this is more entertaining. Oh, hey, someone gave me money. Oh, cool. Uh, Space Hero 600. Good luck with this challenge, Terra. Thank you. Um, okay, you can just dig through that little bit of ground, um, and then that would be a shortcut instead of going all the way around. Okay. Uh, now I'm on a ledge. Oh, that tunnel right there. Yeah. Okay, I can I can make that work. I just need to not die to any of these stupid shell nerds here. Okay, now you're now you outside of my tunnel, so you are officially exploring new territory. Just get a cavern pylon real quick. Yeah, just get a cavern pylon, um... Rhino? Yeah, this is probably hell. It's just- it's just, just a massive gaping- oh, I used my scroll wheel again, whatever. There's just this massive gaping chasm. Okay, I got a cavern pylon. I'm also going to get materials for an NPC housing, so I can immediately make NPC housing once I get down there. One second. Holy hell. This is hell, right? Um, yeah. And a fire imp has spawned. I love this. Have fun. Yeah, we're at hell now. It's like th 50 blocks down. Okay, there you go. There's some hellstone right here. Convenient. Yeah, you can tank Moonlord with just legit strats. I've seen people tank it as Legendary Summoner. I have some... I have some hellstone now. Okay. This one fire imp is now harassing me forever. And what I hate is the fact the nightmare pickaxe doesn't swing fast enough to block its shots. Uh. Oh my god, there's two fire imps! This is bullshit! Imagine not investing in flinxes. Bro, I just want to use my obby skin in peace. You didn't actually use it, did you? No, I have to. There's no obvious. There's no hellstone left here. Oh my! You did not have you to. You don't use understand how desperately I need to get an imp. Okay. Combined with photons of city, that makes three hundred twenty-two. 
Imp staff. I'm. I'm. I have exactly. Yeah, seventeen. Okay. Imp staff. Murderous imp staff. Amazing. I can finally live. Mining for Hellstone hasn't changed yet. Yeah, with yeah, I'm just literally just going down into hell with a, with an obby skin and just going at it. It was painful, but two hours and thirty minutes later, we managed. By this point in the stream cycle, everyone, including myself, was tired. It was just time for Skeletron now, and time to get the run over with. First order of business was to finally extend the bridge all the way to the dungeon. While this was a priority early in the run, it quickly fell to the wayside as we switched focus to progressing loot and boss-wise. After we got that ready, we would then need to get all the buffs needed to fight him, get ready, and finally give him a shot. Okay, you go summon Skeletron. You have a bed. You're gonna recall, right? Um, I guess. He might despawn, actually. This is pretty far. I give, like, significant odds to him despawning. Go buff, because, um, we have to risk the buffs. We can't wait until after he's summoned. Okay. Look at the recall. He despawned. Oh, well then, where do we- do we have to spawn closer, then? Uh, like, like, yep, we- build We a need someone- we need someone sitting halfway in between. Okay, uh, there. Alright, cool. Okay, are you halfway down? I'm actually the whole way down. Okay, you need to be halfway down. Okay, are you halfway? Yeah, I'm like halfway. Wait until he's on screen. Okay, that also works. Well... I'm just gonna die, is that fine? Uh, recall. Recall. You I, spawn, I can't! Right? My recall is not in my hotbar. Oh, by the way, I did not set my spawn. Oh my god. I'm like a solid 100 feet away. Are well, you... we, I died. Bruh! Needless to say, we were not prepared for it. Not only was I not able to ascend to the platform in time, killing myself, I had also forgotten to set my spawn. Rookie move. Well, let's try again next night. Okay, I got aggro. No, Terror, you have aggro. No, I have aggro. Okay, watch out, Photon. I think, I think mainly the damage for me is going to come from the end. I'll shoot him at with the Molten Fury every now and then. Tank the 11 or so damage every now and then. I don't have Hellfire arrows, though. But Photon does, so that's that's what's important. Yeah. I'm gonna... Yep, yeah, I'll be nurse cheesing quite a bit. Whatever we can... I... Whatever we need to defeat this nerd. Yeah. I'm not dealing any damage, I'm just trying to dodge his skulls. Which I think I can pretty reliably. I'm just shooting, uh, shooting on the horizontal whenever he's spinning. Now? With my musket. I only have five Whoa! recalls left. Okay, that was bad. I did not... Did, did not expect that. Okay, Photon and I are, like, dead, dead. Okay, I'll try and... Just, just, tank. just don't die. Just run away! It's 30 seconds. Just run away from him. Except not really, we're not gonna kill him because it's day already. <laughs> This one went better. We managed to survive a whole six minutes until the daytime had other ideas. This fight exposed a flaw in our planning. While the three of us collectively trading lives could theoretically tank Skeltron, it didn't mean we could kill him while doing it. Photon and I, still on 120 HP, couldn't afford to attack him, having to spend almost all our time running away to stay alive, i.e. not doing damage. We still had enough defense to reduce his damage substantially, just not enough of a health pool to make it work and tank him while firing, even with the nurse. Without Photon and I consistently damaging Celtron, there was no way we could deal enough damage to finish him off in one night. If we wanted to finish him off in this stream, we would need a, just a bit more survivability, and alas, we embarked to find some more life crystals. Though at least we can finish today, because I really want to kill Skeletron today. Have to. We don't have to look at this again. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's a life crystal. 
Wow, I haven't seen one of those in a long time. Okay. Well, I got two life crystals so far. This is actually- Oh my god, Bass statue! I have no idea Adventure, where it is, but I have the book. you sound like you just rolled a 500 million coin RNG drop. What made you so excited? The Bass statue. Is it that good that you would scream out loud like that at 12 a.m.? Not scream, but like the act. Not? You acted like you were so happy for a split second. No, 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 no! <laughs> yeah. Also, what time of day is it outside? I can do this. No! No, 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 no. Also, Venture, do you know where your bath statue is? Because it's gonna be night nice soon. And I'll be just. I'm going home as soon as my Spelunker runs out. Watch out. Watch out. Thank you, very cool. I, I, I did say watch out twice. Oh, that's a light crystal right there. Nice. Are the, is the spawn right here higher, or...? No. Okay. Well, I'm just finding more. Probably because it's unexplored land. All the light crystals and regular caverns were, were taken by adventure long ago. Yup. Through this, Photon and I managed to hit 200 HP each almost doubling our effective hit points. It really felt good after being a squishy bag this entire run. Finding the bass statue was then the icing on the cake, giving us each plus 5 defense as well. It was just time to fight him now. Okay, whatever, go set. Do you have your spawn point set? Oh, uh, one second, me buff. Alright, spawn point set! Okay, Photon, I, I hope Photon will be here soon. Okay, whatever. Alright, that is a lot less damage taken, wow. So I just but hey, we're, we're more than half done with his health, and it's, it's not even half, half through the night. We're doing good, guys, we're doing good. Keep yeah. up the good work. What's the thing about the Dryad is that, like, no one actually stays close to it, so the whole point of its buff is kind of negated. Well, it heals the nerves. That is true. Stormtrooper aim! Stormtrooper aim! Amazing. Other way, other way, other way! It's not it. It has at least another cycle. Go, go, go! Okay, I guess not. He's gonna shoot, shoot some moral support your way. It's gonna die this cycle. You should go as fast as you can. Good job, guys! <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Good job. The fucking Skeletron is dead. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> and I got nothing from his treasure bag. I got a bone glove and literally nothing else other than a mask. So well, the tell only me other thing. The only other thing you really could have gotten um, is a useless couch, or you could have gotten the bone skull saying the magic thing. Oh my God, Photon! <laughs> the mage returns. <laughs> and finally. He's down. That marks the end of our run. Yeah, if we can get a book of skull and two flame lashes, we all go mage and just pour out DPS. Look, this man said he was he doesn't want to continue the run, and it immediately starts theorizing ups for the wall flag. Uh, theorizing is different than playing. Theorizing is much more fun. This run definitely wasn't optimal, but for three nerds going in blind, I'd say we did fine. You see, all of this started with me saying, what if I just theorized a run? Wouldn't it be- oh wouldn't it- wouldn't it be fun? And then I told you and you were like, you were like, do you have someone lined up for the stream? If you wanted to stream it? And then you answered yes. And- and now, this beautiful creation was created. That you have absolutely no regrets about. Either way though, I hope you enjoyed this recollection of the runs, as many of you probably haven't seen it before. If you were a stream viewer, thank you for tuning in. This is easily my longest video yet, and one I've been delaying for a long time, so subscribe if you enjoyed. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching, and good day, and goodbye. See you next week.